Hello, and welcome to Sweet Success Lifestyle Transformation's YouTube channel. I'm Judy, a certified health coach and glutathione guide. While I'm not a licensed medical professional, my background and experience in health and wellness allows me to share valuable insights on the subject of glutathione. In today's video, we'll be exploring the relationship between glutathione, your body's master antioxidant, and its effects on hypertension. I'll be referring to information from Dr. Jimmy Gutman's book, The Comprehensive Guide to Glutathione, to provide you with evidence-based insights. After discussing the expert's perspective, I'll share my own thoughts and experiences in the subject. Now remember, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice always consult a qualified healthcare provider for personalized medical guidance. Now, let's get into today's topic. Excerpt from the book, The Comprehensive Guide to Glutathione by Dr. Jimmy Gutman. Chapter seven, cardiovascular disease. Hypertension or high blood pressure is an independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease. In other words, the higher the blood pressure, the greater the likelihood of heart attack, stroke, or other circulatory problems. However, a closer look at glutathione levels may help to identify a potential cause in many of these patients. Some individuals are born with abnormal GSH enzymes, a condition which can be identified through genetic testing. Such people are at significantly higher risk of cardiovascular problems, including hypertension. As for glutathione's biochemical role in the cascade of events leading to hypertension, a Polish team led by Robachevska observed glutathione metabolism might counteract age-dependent increases in blood pressure. Since high blood pressure at any age goes along with low glutathione levels, some cardiology researchers have suggested that GSH be used as a marker for both diagnosis and outcome. In the Journal of Hypertension, a study of juvenile essential hypertension revealed that oxidative stress was significant even among these children and adolescents. At the other end of the age scale, a study appearing in cardiovascular toxicology revealed the very same association in elderly hypertension patients. Again, low GSH levels correlated with high blood pressure and difficulty controlling it. Across the board, individuals with essential hypertension have low glutathione levels. This concludes the excerpt from Dr. Jimmy Gutman's book, The Comprehensive Guide to Glutathione. Be sure to get your copy at glutathione.org. For those interested in looking into the research, I've included links to all the studies mentioned in this video in the description. Diet plays a crucial role in managing hypertension or high blood pressure. Consuming a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean proteins can help maintain healthy blood pressure levels. Focus on reducing or eliminating high processed foods. These foods are often rich in sugar and unhealthy fats which can lead to weight gain and obesity, indirectly increasing hypertension risk. They are typically high in salt, sodium, which is a known risk factor for hypertension. Processed foods are generally low in beneficial nutrients like potassium, magnesium, and calcium, which have protective effects against hypertension. In addition to healthy eating, you can add dietary supplementation to raise glutathione levels. Immunocal, a nutritional supplement, is a specially formulated whey protein isolate that has been clinically proven to increase glutathione production in the body. By boosting glutathione levels, Immunocal helps combat oxidative stress, which is a key factor in hypertension. For more on Immunocal and its benefits, visit Sweet Success Lifestyle Transformations at www.sweetsuccesslt.com. Take our free health assessment. Discover how this clinically proven supplement can boost your glutathione levels. In conclusion, numerous studies have demonstrated the effectiveness of Immunocal in supporting cardiovascular health and managing blood pressure. Incorporating Immunocal into your daily routine, along with a healthy diet and lifestyle, can be a powerful strategy in the fight against hypertension. 
Research suggests that strategies to enhance glutathione levels or improve its metabolism could have therapeutic potential in treating hypertension and other cardiovascular diseases. This can include dietary supplementation such as immunocal. Glutathione's multifaceted role in cardiovascular health underscores its importance as a key player in maintaining a healthy heart and blood vessels. Understanding and leveraging its functions could lead to novel approaches in preventing and treating cardiovascular diseases, particularly hypertension. This video is intended for educational and illustrative purposes only. This video and its content are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent any disease or medical condition. Always consult with a qualified healthcare professional for medical advice, diagnosis or treatment.